Police. Tonight, Tennessee lawmakers are trying to solve issues on Tennessee roads. These lawmakers are focusing on traffic and potholes. Our Sharon Dankwa spoke to drivers about what this could mean for them. It's roads like these some drivers say are constantly riddled with potholes and congested nearly every evening. But how do you fix that? Back in the day, if you'd ever been to Arkansas and you came back into Tennessee, you're like, oh, we got great roads here. <laughs> But now, Tawana McPeak Coward says that's not the case. The potholes, a couple of years ago, I hit one of them, knocked my vehicle completely out of line, had to get that fixed. And, uh, you know, at night, you don't see them. But it's not just the potholes. Yeah, I think potholes are, are a problem that I face a lot and a lot of my other friends who live here locally face. And then the traffic question, I think, is, is a bigger question and a bigger solution. Heather Zoe says she's constantly either stuck in traffic or trying to avoid a wreck while merging into crisscrossing lanes. It's 210C going on to 4th Avenue um, if you're in the Wedgwood-Houston area. And that one coming off the interstate, getting onto that exit, is always, honestly, a fight for my life. So Tennessee State Representative Afton Bain is doing something about it. She's launching a campaign called Rocky Top Not Roads. They're installing billboards with messages about road conditions and placing them in areas drivers are frustrated about. It's bad. Traffic is congested. By the time you get close to um, the airport, right, uh, usually about Briley Parkway, it just starts getting bottlenecked, congested, and there's no reason. Representative Bain says she's also working with other lawmakers to try and change the state's pay-as-we-go structure for road repairs and projects. She says asking for money up front for road repairs will help fix the issue faster. I hope they actually fix the conditions, as the name would suggest. I don't have the answer, but sometimes I think I could do a better job than the people in office that are supposed to know what the answers are. Some lawmakers suggested partnering with local government to look into solutions like light rails, anything to solve these issues faster. A handful of Tennessee lawmakers will meet on Tuesday to talk about other ways they could help with these road conditions. In Nashville, Sharon Dankwa, WSMB 4.